Hi, I'm Sam and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are going to be talking all about Vela sunglasses and this is a brand that I've actually been a fan of for a couple of years. You actually may have seen a video that I made a couple of years back about this pair of glasses. These are the Dixie in chocolate tortoiseshell and cinnamon and these glasses I loved in the video and I pretty much have been wearing non-stop since then. So I was really excited when the brand saw that video and sent me two more pairs to try. So today what we're going to be doing is a two plus year update on the pair that I purchased myself and I've had for quite a while and then I'll also do a little unboxing of the new pairs, show you those and talk about them as well. So without further ado, let's get into it! You may notice the color of the cases has changed and of course this one has gotten a little beat up over the years. However, this pair of sunglasses is still one of their top sellers and you can still find this exact color and style on the website. I feel like these are the ones that I have seen around the very, very most. And to me, that totally makes sense. I feel like this pair, it truly does go with almost every single outfit. These are really comfortable sunglasses. They're not too tight. They don't pinch my head or anything. And they just have a very, very light lens. I will say I'm very impressed by how these sunglasses have held up over two years. Also, I'm very impressed that I've been able to hold on to them. I haven't lost them. I haven't scratched them or anything. These I really truly do wear the majority of the time. And for something that I wear so often, they have held up spectacularly. I feel like they're still in the exact same condition pretty much that they were when I first got them. And of course I take care of them. You know, these are sunglasses where I always keep them in this case or in a soft case. I'm not just throwing them around loose in my bag. They are a bit of an investment after all. One thing about these sunglasses is they are certainly an investment piece and for something that is more on the fashion side rather than an extremely protective pair of sunglasses it can feel like a pretty luxurious splurge. These retail for $270 currently so it definitely is not going to be in everyone's budget to buy a pair of sunglasses like this and I totally understand that. However for me personally I still do feel like I felt when I made that video that it was worth it for me just because I do wear these all the time. I've packed these for every holiday that I've been on since I got them. I wear them all the time. I rotate them and put them in between my bags because these are pretty much the only pair of sunglasses that I really wear consistently. And I do have a couple of pairs of other like more inexpensive frames that I don't need to take as good care of. And if I'm going somewhere where I think I might lose them, you know, I'll bring one of those, like something I got off Amazon for $20. However, these ones are the most comfortable to wear. I feel like they feel more substantial and a little bit heavier and a little bit more expensive on my face. And I just love the way that they look. I truly have not found a sunglass that I feel is as flattering as these Dixie frames. So I'm still super happy with my purchase from a couple of years back and I think that it has been a good investment. I will also say in that video I I wasn't sure about how this style would stand the test of time. It was already at that point something that I'd been seeing online for maybe like a year or two. So they've been popular for quite some time and I feel like the shape at this point is really just a classic. So it's not something that I worry about it going out of style in the next couple of years and that I'm gonna have regretted, you know, investing in. Since I love the Dixie so much, it should probably come as no surprise that I did get another pair of them. So these ones I actually got in the black and toffee color. When I was purchasing the sunglasses initially, I was back and forth between these two colors. So I'm really excited to finally have these ones in my life. So as you can see, the frame on these is just a darker color. It's a solid black and then the 
lenses are a little bit darker, like a dark brown color as well. Again, it's just that same beautiful frame shape that I feel like is so, so flattering. And I have had, you know, friends of mine try these on over the years. I feel like they really do look good on every person that at least I have seen try them on, which they're a pretty bold style. So I feel like it's just something about it is pretty universally flattering. Each pair also still comes with a cleaning cloth, which is fantastic. Although my old pair, I'm pretty sure it came with a soft drawstring bag. I honestly never ended up really using it. So not a big deal that they don't include them anymore, but that really is the only difference that I have found between the two. Otherwise, looking at these two different pairs together, I feel like they haven't changed anything about like the quality, even the hardware or the manufacturing process. Like it really does feel like this pair of sunglasses is the exact same as this one, which I think is important to know and be able to compare, especially when a product has really like gone viral in the way that I feel like these sunglasses did. It's really good to know that Vela is not compromising their production after a couple of years. Honestly, the one thing I'm still not sure about is how to pronounce this company. I tried to go on their website and on their Instagram and see. I heard someone say Vela, but to me, like Vela, I don't know. Maybe it's either way. If you know, please correct me in the comments, but I think I've been saying Vela. It could be Vela though, just as easily. The last pair that I have here is a different style and I did really want to try these out. I feel like I've seen them on so many people and they do look really cute. However, on me, I feel like they're not quite as good as the other ones. These are the Olsen and I got them in just the plain black and smoke. I felt like this is like a classic combo and something that again, would just like go with everything. And these, I don't know what it is, but on me, I'm just not as big of a fan of them. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of these. I feel like I'm kind of uncertain about if I like them or not. The other thing that I found with this pair compared to the Dixie is that they are a little bit more narrow. I don't have a super wide face, I don't think, but these ones do feel like they pinch a little bit. So I think I'm gonna like maybe try and gently stretch them out. I just, I feel like if I were to wear them for a bunch of hours, they might eventually give me a headache just cause they, they are kind of like pressing in. You know how that happens sometimes behind the ears? They are still that same exact quality. However, the Dixie is still, it's totally just my favorite. When you're investing in a pair of sunglasses, I feel like the UV protection side of things is going to be a big deal for people. And so that's something to keep in mind. Vela's done a good job of really listing this out specifically on their website. Every different sunglass in each colorway has its own categorization. So they have type one, two, and three. I actually have one pair from each. So I'll walk through a little bit about what they mean. And you can just keep that in mind as you go to order a pair. Maybe for you, it's not worth it to have this price tag on something that is going to be more of just like a fashion sunglass without 100% UV protection. But obviously that's gonna depend a little bit on where you live and you know, just on your personal preference. As you can see with this very, very light cinnamon lens color, these ones, they actually classify as a type one. And so that means that they're fashion sunglasses. They don't really offer UV protection. When it comes to the toffee lenses, these ones are categorized as a type two lens. And so what that means is that they do have 100% UV protection. So for these ones, unlike my lighter version, these will protect your eyes from 
UV rays, which is great. And this is definitely something that I'd be reaching for more on those really bright days, especially like in the summertime or on vacation, just gives you a little bit more protection from the sun. The Olsen in black and smoke is again, just a little bit of a darker lens. And these ones are actually a category three. So it also offers UV protection, just like the toffee ones, but these ones also have a bit more glare protection to them too. So that is great. I mean, these ones, they definitely are the darkest when I'm looking through them out of all of them. So totally makes sense. And just as something to keep in mind, I think as you're shopping on their website, they do have all those categorizations. If you look at the details, the other thing I will mention is that right now, if you are watching this video as it goes up in real time, there is a holiday promotion where you can get two for one pairs of sunglasses. And that honestly is a great deal. Even if the promotion has passed when you're watching this, I would certainly keep an eye out on their page, on their website, because if they're doing a promotion like this once, they might be doing another one at some point. It's always good to just keep an eye out, especially when it is something that is more of an investment like these are. It's great to be able to get a little bit of a deal there as well. I hope this video has been helpful if you are looking to potentially add a pair of these sunglasses into your collection. If you do have any questions, you can always leave me a note down there in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer it for you. And I did just want to thank Vela for sending me these sunglasses. Of course, they did send them to me complimentary so that I could share my opinions on them. However, I did purchase that first pair on my own and I do love them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.